In this video we'll take a look at Foremost, which is a data carving tool that comes available with Backtrack 4. Uh, now what Foremost does is it actually looks at an image and it pulls out the file headers, footers, and the data structure to be able to read what kind of file types there are and gives us an output of those files. But before I do that I want to show you the image we're going to actually look at using. I've got here under this mount data folder this image.dd which is a copy of a hard drive put into an image and so we're going to use the foremost command to extract some data out of that. Now we're going to go down to the start menu, backtrack, digital forensics, and we're going to go to file carving and open up foremost. And it's going to bring up our terminal. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to run the foremost command. I'm going to use the dash T which is going to let me know my file types. And there's a whole lot of file types that I can use. If I scrolled uh, up or if I ran a man page on this I could find that there are several different file types. I'm going to pull a couple of them out here for us. I'm going to type in JPG, comma, and then the GIF, comma, PNG, which takes care of all my photos. OLE is going to take care of all of our documents uh, for office files such as Word, any kind of spreadsheet, or any kind of uh, database and so forth. And I'm also going to do PDF here just to give you a couple uh, examples. And I'm going to do a space now. We're going to do dash I which is going to indicate the actual image we're going to use. And so the dash i space forward slash mnt forward slash data forward slash image dot dd. So that's the link for that image you see in the background there. we we'll go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and process through for a little while. And now that the program is finished, Foremost is finished, we can go ahead and find all these files now. So I'm going to go ahead and close the terminal and I can close uh, that window there. You can see on my desktop here I've got the output folder. I'm going to go ahead and double click on side of that and this is a result of running the Foremost command. And you can see that I've got a folder for docs, GIFs, JPEGs, OLEs, PNGs, and XLS for my spreadsheets. And so it was able to pull out uh, the docs and the spreadsheets out of that as well. And I've got, let's just go click inside the GIF here, and you can see that it has all the GIF files, I've got all my JPEGs, uh, I've got the doc files that was able to pull off of there, uh, the OLE is going to have some or, or docs that we've got here available for us, uh, the PNG is going to be some of the PNG photos, XLS, some of the spreadsheets that are in there, and then I've got audit.txt which is really nice for forensics, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, because it gives us an, a list of all of the items that were pulled from this uh, extract or this data carve that we were able to do and it gives us a total list of all of our files um, and lists them by type. So this is using Foremost in Backtrack 4. 